Question, question num order, order. Question number eight, Sarah Dowry. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> My question is to the Minister of Education. What recent announcements has she made that will enable more young people to succeed in the education system? Speaker. The Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr. Speaker, on Friday I was pleased to announce that thousands more children and young people will benefit from a new approach that's making it easier for children to access additional learning support services. We are rolling out a pilot that's been trialled in three Bay of Plenty communities of learning to up to another 30 communities of learning and schools across the country. This will see the pilot expand out to another 70,000 children and young people in early learning services and schools. This is part of our ambitious work programme that has seen funding for learning support increased by over 30 per cent since 2008. Budget 2017 alone provided an additional 63 million over the next four years to support more young people. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Sarah Dairy. Uh, to the Minister, how does this announcement fit into wider education system changes that ensure our young people succeed? Mr Speaker. Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, over this term of government, we have made significant changes to ensure that our education system is delivering for young people. The learning support announcement is part of a wider plan to improve the lives of young people. This involves our funding system review, the scrapping of the decile system, the increasing of vote education from 8 to 11 billion, uh, implementing significant change in terms of $360 million investment in communities of learning, modernising our school infrastructure, a $5 billion investment, the implementation of digital technologies. In comparison, I note the report uh, that recently said uh, a low level of thinking that is not helpful, which was from the Secondary School Principals Association regarding Labor's policy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Sarah Dowie. What are some of the results that she has seen that demonstrate more young people are being successful in the education system? Mr Speaker. Oh, the Honourable Nikki Kay. The most significant thing that the government has done for our young people has ensured that they have the qualifications needed to go on to employment and further studies. In 2016, approximately 85 per cent of 18-year-olds have NCA Level 2, a 17 per cent lift on 2008. Additionally, we've increased participation in early learning to nearly 97 per cent. That means thousands more, thousands more children in early learning. We've also had more than half a million children now in communities of learning, which is a significant achievement in terms of collaboration of schools. Supplementary question, Chris Hipkins. Does she stand by her predecessor's uh, promise that entry into communities of learning would be voluntary for schools? If so, why should students or children attending schools that are not part of a community of learning be denied access to the additional learning support? That's right. The Honourable Nikki. Uh, Mr Speaker, I welcome the question from this member. I just want to check that this question isn't actually from the Australian Labor Party. Order. <laughs> Order. Order. The member, the minister will stand and answer that question properly or else you can leave the chamber. <laughs> Order. Order. I'm giving the minister one more chance to address the question as asked. Mr Speaker, uh, communities of learning are voluntary. Speaker. Point of order. Point order. Point of order. The second part of that question was why students should be denied oh, no. access if they're not no. part of a community. The member, the member also knows the rules. He goes back and looks at his question. It was actually two questions, and the minister's addressed it. Eventually. Question number ten. Oh, question number nine, Tracy Martin. Kia ora. To the Minister of Education, does she stand by all?